Well, it's fantastic to have this show in Tate Britain. You know, Hockney is one of the great British artists, even though he's a international figure, maybe he spent more time in America than in Britain. Um, and it's incredibly exciting to see, you know, brought together for the first time works that we've seen in recent years in a kind of continuous thread linked back to these great iconic pictures of the 60s and 70s that, you know, I've only seen many of them as postcards as a teenager. Yeah, so many bad experiences with our In the future, you know, when we look back retrospectively, I, I think we'll, we'll be still basking in the sunshine of his colours, in the um, very unusual perspective that he manages to achieve, and the fact that he's opening our eyes to the fact that Hollywood could be as glamorous as Yorkshire. I think David, you know, right from the beginning has been fascinated by finding new ways of making pictures. So, you know, early on at the Royal College, he started making etchings because he said he couldn't afford canvases. Um, and so, he, you know, and his etchings are some of the most, you know, innovative um, known. And, and all through his career, he's engaged with something new. So, you know, when, when sophisticated colour photocopiers came in, he started making prints with... Of, with a photocopier feeding the sheet through so you get these layered images. When faxes came in, he started sending pictures to, to friends by fax. And, you, and then, of course, you know, when the iPhone and iPad came along, he started making drawings, initially just to send to people, and then later kind of presenting them in exhibitions as they are here.
considered to be Britain's greatest artist because he is Britain's greatest artist. You know, he, he just uses the canvas, he uses colour, he uses the camera, he, he uses uh, film in the most exceptional and imaginable ways. And he has this great imagination and this great power to put on 2D what is actually 3D. And he confuses us and he plays with us and he cajoles with us. And, and he wants to, us to step through the canvas with him or through the photograph with him. We are part of the artwork.